Hello and welcome to our monthly product overview series. From Zenata Consulting, I'm Wayne Martin. This month, I'm going to be taking a look at Zoho's affiliate and loyalty program management tool, Zoho Thrive. Before I get started, though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump in. All right, let's take a quick look at the agenda for this product overview. First, I'm going to go ahead and cover the connection between Zoho Thrive and your shop. In this instance, I'll go ahead and connect our Shopify store and show you what that whole process looks like. Then we'll dive into a product overview where I'm going to cover all of the features and everything you need to know about Zoho Thrive. After that, we'll take a quick look at the settings. Then I'll dive into some integrations that Zoho Thrive has to offer. And then lastly, I'll touch on the different UI versions that Zoho Thrive has. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and jump into setting up your shop. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is choose which store to connect to Zoho Thrive. In this example, I'm gonna go ahead and connect our Shopify store so to get started, let's go ahead and connect Shopify. Next thing we're going to want to do is come into Shopify and we're going to want to create an app under the app and sales channels. And we will call this Thrive Connection. From here, let's go ahead and get some information that we're going to need to pass over to Shopify. One of the things you're going to want to do first is allow access to the Shopify store. So generally speaking, I'm going to fast forward, but we're going to just go ahead for the sake of this video and check all of these. And once those are checked, let's go ahead and save. And then the next thing we're going to do is get our API credentials. So we're going to get our API key, copy that, paste it over to the Shopify connector. Get the secret key, paste that over. You're gonna get the store name, which is Zenata Store, and then the store URL, which is going to be right here, shop.zenata.com. Where you can get all your cool Zenata swag. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and install a token. And then we're gonna reveal the token. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it over and then connect. And we got an error. So let's just add an HTTPS colon slash slash and hit connect. I wanted to point this out in this tutorial because this might be a common error you come across. So when you have the store URL, if you have it redirecting inside of Shopify to a custom domain, you need to make sure it's in myshopify.com URL. So if we go ahead and paste in this and we hit connect, we can go ahead and see the connection has now been made. That is how you connect your Shopify to Zoho Thrive. And now let's go ahead and dive into our product overview. Unlike kind of our other webinars in the past where we just do a brief rundown of the menu bars, Zoho Thrive is a pretty straightforward product with everything kind of right here in this core section. So I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. So if you've already seen something, you can kind of skip ahead as I'm going down. But I'm just gonna go over this whole product right now um, in this product overview section and then Towards the end, I'll go into settings real quick on, on the next section and then the integrations. Zoho Thrive is pretty much two things. It's a loyalty program and an affiliate program to get more brand awareness and loyalty to your brand through your store. So what you can do is how we just set up Shopify, we can go ahead and add task on a little widget that's going to appear on your shop. So subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, become a member so you can add different tasks for people that sign up to join your loyalty program and you can put points to these tasks and from there you can basically set you know different membership levels different rewards that they can receive based on these different tasks they can earn points through so you know referring a friend maybe that's 50 points you know making a purchase maybe that's 50 points so depending on how many points you assign things, you can then start assigning rewards like coupons or pro special coupons on a certain product. And you can set, you know, a point threshold to redeem. 
and get the various rewards for accumulating points. And then to turn this on, we go ahead and just flip it on. And now since it's connected to our Shopify store, it's going to be appearing on our Shopify store, which we'll go over at the end. Next, we have reviews. So if you want someone to connect to, say, leave a review on your Google uh, account, you can go ahead and add a task, review on Google, add your URL Google path to your shop, and then you can go ahead and set the amount of rewards and then the reward points and then a quick message for them to see you know, the value of filling that out. Next, you have the VIP program. So in order to turn this on, we're going to need to add a few more VIP tiers, but you could essentially just say like VIP two points required 50, you know, special product offers, add tier and so on. So you could go ahead and set various tiers and call them, you know, whatever you would like for your, for your store. And then you can go ahead and configure, you know, the tier settings based on points or maybe even purchase. So maybe I, it's, you know, I don't care how many points you've earned, but the more money you spend in my shop, you know, the higher the tiers you're going to get, the various, you know, different promos and specials, you're going to get maybe special product offerings. So that's the VIP program. And once you have more than one tier, you can go ahead and turn it on and it will appear on your widget. Next, you have the affiliate program. So... I want people to sell my stuff for me and be rewarded for it. So you can go ahead and set up various coupons, you know, a percentage, let's say it's 10%. You can go ahead and create a 10% coupon and then we can add commissions upon referral purchase. We'll say the minimum purchase value is going to be 50. And what to reward is going to be cash, fixed amounts, commission is going to be a percentage, it's going to be 10%. And you can even set a commission range for minimum and maximum. And then you can give it a label, you know, sell my stuff. Oops. And I'll say minimum is five and maximum is going to be 25. Go ahead and add the commission. And now that we have the sell my stuff on, we can go ahead and turn on our affiliate program. Go to the scripts, which we'll go over in a second, and put that uh, sign up referral link on our site, and then they can go ahead and access this reward here. So that's the affiliate program. Next, we have widgets. So just one widget, very similar to Zoho uh, Sales IQ. You're going to have a pop up. This pop up, you can't really edit a whole lot. You've got the placement, you know, where the position is going to be from the bottom and the side on the left or the right. You've got the theme, so you can change the color of the theme. And then lastly, you have the text. So here, you know, we could say Zanata program, and you can go ahead and change the various descriptions here. We can see our VIP tiers. We can see talk about points. And this is where they can go ahead and click and see the various tasks you have set up. So that's where you configure the widget that's going to appear on the bottom right or left, depending on the placement. Next, we have the affiliate signup form. So if you wanted to collect more information other than their email, you could go ahead and drag and drop the various fields you want to capture and edit that there. And if we go back, once you're done setting up the form and you have your custom fields, if you want to add terms and conditions, you can go ahead and copy the form link and then go ahead and embed that on your site for affiliates to join. Next, you have notifications. So here you have when an affiliate or referral uh, purchase goes through. These are emails that you'll receive. And if you want to customize, you know, some merge tags in here and add any additional fields, you can do it. But by default, these pretty much cover everything you're going to need. Next, you have the referral program, same deal. Um, anytime someone makes a purchase, you're going to get alerted with the order ID, the referral program name, etc. You have the an affiliate sign up, welcome email going out. So this one you might wanna adjust and customize to your brand and give them some extra links and resources, maybe some videos to help them get started and sell your product. 
Um, you have a customer welcome email when someone joins the loyalty program. This one you might also want to customize and drop in some custom links and extra you know, features and bonuses, maybe some VI, a VIP video about the perks of getting the different tiers. And then you've got rewards earned emails that can also be sent out. And if you don't want any of these emails to go out or you don't want these notifications, you can simply turn them off by disabling them along the side here. Next, we have assets. Um, this is just quick links to your shops. Uh, the scripts, if you're using API calls, here are all of your secret keys. And integrations, I'm going to dive into in one of the later sections. Next, we have program settings. So here you can go ahead and set up a cooling period. Maybe after someone signs up, they have to wait a day to start reaping the benefits. You have cookie settings. So maybe you're in the EU or a country that requires you to display cookies. So you can simply turn them on, do the content, consent text and set the length of how long the cookies will stay valid for tracking purposes. And then attribution settings, if someone is an affiliate and refers someone over, but then they don't make the purchase and then another affiliate refers someone over, but then they end up making a purchase with the second affiliate, you can by default give the credit to the first referrer instead. Uh, you can set point expirations for your loyalty program here. You can also do opt-in settings. So activate an automatic program opt-in. And then next you have an affiliate blacklist so you can restrict, you know, some specific IP addresses, block specific emails, block specific domains. Maybe you don't want your competitors having access to your sites. So you can go ahead and set that up here. If you wanted to blacklist anyone, set up a verification process, you know, whether it's manual or API. And then you can set up your payout limits. So you can set a maximum limit here for how much someone can get paid out through your affiliate program, just to kind of a safeguard yourself. And then lastly, you have overview. Overview is gonna be your reporting. So you can, at a glance, see your signups, commissions, reviews, and testimonial approvals. You can see your payouts, what hasn't been paid, what has been paid, and what's on hold. You can go ahead and see a general snapshot of the overall performance of your loyalty and affiliate programs. And you can go ahead and see your participants, all of your affiliates, all of your loyalty participants, and any referrals that have come in. And then lastly, you can go ahead and see all of the purchases made through the affiliate program. So that's Zoho Thrive kind of in a nutshell real quick. Next, we're going to dive into the settings, but that's going to wrap it up for the overview. Unlike other Zoho applications, Zoho Thrive settings are very simple. It's to the point and everything is just simplified and made easy. So we'll go through these real quickly. The company details. Here you can go ahead and add your company URL and address. Um, pretty straightforward. Next, you can manage users and their roles. So we see we have a dummy user here. We can go ahead and change them to just a view or admin or user. Fortunately, it doesn't give you much more details and you can't set up custom roles. But on Zoho Thrive's uh, help documentation, you can see what your admin and user have access to. Next, if we go back in the settings, we have sender details. There's a only one email that's going to be sending out the emails going out to users, but you can go ahead and choose the email and set it up back here. Next, we have uh, payment integrations. Currently, there's only PayPal available. So you, in order to get your affiliates paid out, you're going to need to set up a PayPal integration. Next, we have our brands. So here we can go ahead and see and manage all of our brands and we can edit, you know, the store name and the support email address here. Currency. If you wanted to add an additional brand, you simply just come up here to the main homepage and hit add new brand and it'll walk you through the same process we did at the beginning of this tutorial. Next, we have user activity log. So here you can go ahead and see all of the various changes that have been made. So I added a dummy user. So as roles and permissions are changed or things are happening, you can at a quick glance, see who changed what and when here in the activity log. And then lastly, the data anonymization. 
if for whatever reason someone no longer wants to participate and they want their data removed, you can completely remove a participant's data um, by entering their email address here per their request. So like I said, pretty short and sweet. That's gonna wrap it up for our settings and now let's dive into our integrations. Okay, so last, let's go ahead and dive into the integrations here. So I have a tab pulled up for integrations too, which I'm gonna go over in a second. But if we go to integrations here on the left, and let's just delete the Zoho campaigns. So we have Zoho campaigns, Zoho CRM, marketing automation, Biggin, depending on which you know platform you chose, maybe you're Biggin and marketing automation, or maybe you're just CRM and campaigns you can go ahead and connect them back here. And this will go ahead and push the loyalty and affiliate data over to these platforms. Uh, next, you have other options such as HubSpot and Pipedrive. And then uh, Klaviyo, you also can connect as well for campaign integrations. So the main one you are going to want to connect, and I'll show you why I have this tab open in a second, is Zoho CRM. I do believe also Zoho Books is coming in the near future so you can manage your affiliate and payout because that information you kind of want to have living in books as well. So we're going to connect our CRM and we'll just choose this Rescue Ranges account. And just like that, Zoho CRM is connected. But you'll notice there aren't any like fields. It doesn't really give you much details of like what's pushing over. And that's why I have this documentation here because you're going to want to add these text fields and date fields to the leads and contacts modules inside of your CRM. Without these, this data is not going to push over. So it's very, very important that you go ahead and add these uh, fields here to Zoho CRM or Zoho Biggin. And then from there, I mean, we can connect Zoho campaigns and then integrate yellow error. And if you get this error, um, I, I've noticed sometimes this bugs out, which happens from time to time. But just like that, it is in fact connected and it's going to push the data over to Zoho campaigns. But we want the data always, you know, I'm always an advocate of one source of truth. The main integration you're going to want is either Biggin or Zoho CRM. And then from there, the data, those fields that you would need to add you would go ahead and create your campaigns based on the segments of the fields in the CRM. So whether it pushes over to campaigns or not, unless you're running campaigns standalone, but if you have CRM or Biggin, I would recommend pushing your data over to CRM. So just make sure, I'll drop this link down in the description below, but make sure you, as you're setting this up, you go into CRM, you go into the settings, modules and fields, and you add these custom fields. The text fields are text fields, and then the date fields are date fields. So just be sure to do that. Otherwise, this integration isn't really going to mean a whole lot for you. And then lastly, you know, this is going to be a little bonus. It's going to kind of wrap it up for integrations. Uh, just some things I wanted to touch on there. But this whole webinar, I've been doing the old version just because I am a fan of it. But there is a new version as well. And by clicking switch to new version, you can go ahead and see the new version layout VIP, you know, or you can click the different program loyalty or affiliates. And then you got the affiliate sign up page and then the links. And then you got the affiliate overview, referrals, payouts, and performance. Personally, I think the old view, you can see all of everything a lot cleaner in, in one spot. So that's why I chose to do the old view view with this webinar. Honestly, it's a preference. If you like the new version and how it looks and it works for you, by all means use it. You can easily switch back and forth uh, by simply clicking this button here. So that's going to wrap it up for Zoho Thrive. Uh, this was a short one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. And you know, go to Club Zanata. We post all of our events, all of our webinars, and we're always posting tips and new tutorials. But Zoho has webinars. We post them all on Club Zanata as well do, as doing our best to answer your questions with the Zaz, Ask Zanata anything about Zoho, posting resources, the latest Zoho news, and more. And for all of this information, never miss a beat. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at zanata.com forward slash newsletter. It's going to wrap it up. Have a great one, and we'll see you in the next video.